Cheerio! You're an odd one now, aren't you? I've been away from Terra Pinya for a while, but I didn't recall any funkies that look quite like you. You obviously must be a fellow traveller, then. Always a joy to meet a like-minded funky. Me? Obviously you must have heard of me. I'm Angus Funkwell, fearless explorer, scientific genius, part-time wizard, and salesman extraordinaire, and the only funky who's ever been in-between. Never heard of the in-between? I didn't expect many a funky has. Of course, all funkies know of the great portal system that allows travel throughout Terrapinia. Ah, but has anyone really stopped to think where it is that you really go when you step into a portal? <laughs> I didn't think so. It's simple, really. If it's no here and it's no there, then obviously it must be in between. <laughs> While the rules of time and space are defined and concrete in Terra Pinia, this is not necessarily the case in the in between. In between, space can have the ability to stretch to infinity or just as easily compress vast distances to the blink of an eye. It's Dr. Tinker who had managed to harness its warping of time and space with the creation of the portals. The portals allow a traveller to temporarily step into the in-between and then back out in order to travel vast distances across Terrapinia. Although admittedly a bit confusing, it really is quite a fascinating place. So fascinating, in fact, that I've dedicated my life to exploring the possibilities it provides. I've devised a way to set up my lab in the in-between, a place where I can experiment and create such wondrous things, things that would not even be possible to imagine here in Terra Pena. The flexibility of time and space and even reality provides for quite a unique environment. I can tell that you, my fellow traveller, are the type not so easily convinced by wild tales from a mysterious stranger, though. Your type obviously needs proof, so as a gesture of goodwill and proof of the truth of my tales, I offer you this trunk. <laughs> I can see by the confusion on your face that you are not yet convinced. But you see, this is no ordinary trunk. Just look inside. While it may look like just an ordinary trunk, it's really a portable portal into the in-between. And inside you may find many a wondrous thing, and possibly even some new friends. You see, not only has my time in the in-between allowed me to create some fascinating objects, it has also led me to the discovery of some fascinating friends. Funky familiars. It seems that every time a funky travels through a portal, they leave a bit of themselves behind, and a new funky familiar is born. There seems to be as many types of familiars as there are tribes of funkies, each familiar embodying the essence of their funky family. What's more, because familiars are created from the essence of the different funkies, there are some fascinating benefits to becoming their friends. I have found that by simply being in the presence of a familiar, a funky can travel through a portal that they would normally be denied access to. But even better is their ability to help gain access to a funky's game room and the games within. Ha! I bet Master Locks didn't factor this into his plans. Well, for now I must be off. But fear not, I will never be far. I encourage you to come and find me when you wish to see what new wonders I've discovered, secrets I have learned, and inventions I have created. I guarantee you shall not be disappointed. Thank you.